Hello and welcome to how to make a pinhole camera. Well, first we'll start with the ingredients. You need a clean uh, box or container. We're using a Cadbury drinking chocolate container. You also need an aluminium soft drink can. Old scissors, don't use good ones because it might wreck them. Some flat black spray paint, not glossy, uh, preferably black paper, a size 16 B threading needle, um, that's to make the hole for the pinhole, but it's alright if it's about that size, but a little bigger or smaller. Um, a wooden pe um, peg, uh, glue, uh, a manila folder, electrical tape, Cardboard, ruler, a knife, emery cloth, or very, very fine sandpaper. Well, let's get started. To start with, dry your container and make sure there are no specks there. Then, trace around the lid of the container and cut out on black paper the right size. Then paste them on. This is to make sure no light can sneak in through the lid of the camera. When this is done, we're ready to make the pinhole in the camera. Measure out the middle of the box and cut a hole in it. About a centimetre by a centimetre. This could be tricky. Now you need to spray paint the outside of the whole thing black. This is to doubly make sure that no light can enter. Also spray the lid and the inside. To make the pinhole you need to get the peg and the pin and glue the pin in between the peg. This is so that you can make the hole. Now you're going to put the, the hole on the aluminium can. So get that out and cut it out nicely. Careful of your fingers. Cut it out in a nice smooth with nice smooth corners. Now once you've done this hopefully your pinhole drill will have dried. Poke it into the aluminium can to create the hole. When you're through Give it a good wash and a clean to make sure there is no grit inside the hole. Don't forget to sand it as well. Now to add the pinhole inside the box. Uh, mark the hole on the aluminium can and sticky tape and glue around it. and carefully put it inside where the hole is that you previously made. Now load the camera with photographic paper or film. You need to do this in a light proof bag or a dark room. This is because paper, photographic paper and film is light sensitive. If it gets exposed to light, the paper will be ruined. Are you ready to take your first picture? Well, the, greatest, uh, the best exposure time in sunlight is about 20 seconds. Put blue tack over the hole and take it off then put it back on after about Now it's time to develop the paper. You'll need developer, stop bath and fixer. It's great if you have a neighbour or a friend who has some of this because this stuff is fairly expensive. Now to mix up the chemicals. For developer it is one to nine parts water. For stop bath, it is one to twenty parts water. And for fixer, it's one to nine parts water. Make sure you get this right because it's important. Also, measure the temperature to 20 degrees for each one. Pour in the developer mix into 
the canister to start developing the image. Twirl it around for about a minute and a half. Then pour it back in. Now pour in the stop bath and twirl that around for about a minute and a half as well. Pour that back into its thing as well. Now get the fixer and pour it in for about 30 seconds. And mix it around. Pour it out and now you need to wash it so pour in some water and mix that around for about close to two minutes. You can use the stop bath and fixer for thousands of prints but the developer needs to be thrown out when it starts to turn brown and the water thrown out every single time. Pour out the water and take out your first photo, then hang, hang it up to dry. You may have noticed in some pictures how normally straight things are actually curvy. That is because the photographic paper is curled around the camera, creating the bent kind of effect. If you plan on taking a photo inside, make sure there is a lot of light, because this is what my picture turned out like. I hope you had a lot of fun learning about pinhole cameras and how to develop prints. It's a, a very interesting thing developing and printing. Bye.